Hi, Kyle, Verena. Um, yeah, welcome to Game On Magazine, and thanks for taking our call after the Under-19 Cricket World Cup. It's good to be talking to you. Hi there. Thank you very much. It's good to good to be talking to you. I'm sure you're glad to be home after the trip to Bangladesh. Uh, can you just uh, tell us and tell the readers how you've been since returning home and reflecting back on the tournament? Um, well, obviously, it's very nice to be to be home. It was quite a long quite a long trip and quite a long time in Bangladesh. Um, on coming home, obviously, we just looked at what what didn't go too well and what worked while we were over there. So for me personally, it's just been about seeing what I did while there and just trying to, uh, when I go back to training, make sure that I do those same things over again. And what I didn't do too well, just make sure that I can improve on those things. But overall, it's been nice to be home and yeah, good to be reflecting on the experience. Personally, you um, picked up some form uh, during the, the pre-tournament game as well as during the World Cup. I know for the team, you perhaps didn't get the results you would have liked. Uh, but just on a personal le- level, your, your batting and your bowling, w- w- how, how would you reflect on, on the way Kyle performed at the tournament? Um, well, yeah, like you said, I, I don't think the, the team uh, was as successful as you would have liked to have been. But personally, I feel I did, I did perform quite nicely. Um, Obviously, I did a lot of preparation going into the campaign, so it was really nice for me to to perform on the tour. Um, yeah, it's just for me, it was just all about contributing to the team where I could, and I think I did did quite a good job job at that. So for me, coming back from the World Cup, uh, it's quite a good feeling knowing that I've I've performed quite well there, and hopefully, I can carry that on into club cricket and look forward to um, playing semi pro cricket soon. So what does the future hold for Carl Verena in terms of uh, your club cricket and also Western Province cricket and where things um, go for you next? Um, well, for me, it's almost very similar to the rest of the boys, I'd imagine. Um, the next few weeks are just going to be about making sure that my studies are all in order because I do want to be studying. And then after that, hopefully, um, I can put some good, good performances in at club level and hopefully I'll be getting a call up to the Western Province men's side quite shortly. And your club, can you tell us your club? Uh, I'm playing at Cape Town Cricket Club in Plumstead. And how do things look from a Western Province franchise uh, perspective? We know that uh, we've been seeing a lot of good young cricketers come through the ranks um, at, at Western Province. Do you see that as one of the, the better channels, the better provinces to be to be uh, pinning your cricket hopes? Yeah, I think definitely Western Province has had quite a good record of bringing up uh, youngsters to play professional cricket. At the moment, most of the, there's quite a few pro tiers that play at the Cape Cobra. So for me, playing at Western Province is quite a good channel to hopefully soon one day play in the pro tiers men's side. Yeah, because like I said, the Cobras do have a good history of um, bringing up youngsters. So for me, I'm quite happy to be in this area. And obviously, uh, many readers might not know about your Weinberg Boys High uh, schooling uh, career and school time where your cricket skills were developed. Uh, can you tell us a bit about your time at Weinberg and, of course, a school where the great uh, Jacques Callis uh, learned his, his trade as well? Yeah, well, I was, I was fortunate enough to be on the Jacques Callis scholarship, so he um, funded all my schooling at Weinberg Boys. Um, for me, I think Weinberg played a, a crucial part in where I am today. The facilities there are, to me, top, uh, top in the country and the coaching that they provide you with and the time that all the staff and, and sports uh, sports coaches put into each individual um, to me is is very important and I think um, the school has helped me a lot in where in where I am today. Um, yeah, so for me, just to Wamba Boys High School, uh, they they really have done a good job in in um, growing young cricketers. So yeah, it's very nice to have come from a come from a, such a a rich cricketing school and yeah. And Carl, any advice you would give to to young boys and girls uh, playing cricket uh, in the high school level and age group really wanting to emulate um, where you've gone to and, and possibly make one of the junior national teams? What are some of the, the things that you've learned um, in terms of keeping focused and working hard uh, through through schooling as well as um, you know working on, on your sports or on your talent? Well, I think the biggest thing for me is obviously to balance your your school time and your and your sport time because you never know if sport is going to be successful. So from my side, it's just all about making sure that you do have your academics in order. 
And then also I think you've got to always make sure that you are taking all the opportunities that the schools provide. I know, um, especially in Cape Town, all the schools do provide good good sporting facilities and opportunities for youngsters to to develop. So for me, it's just all about um, making most of the opportunities and taking in from, from all the experience of coaches and that that are around. And Kyle, just lastly, what does your daily schedule look like now? Are you... Um, spending most of your day uh, training in the net. Uh, how much studying are you putting into your your daily uh, activity as well? Well, at the moment, it's just in the morning, starting off with with studying and getting my studies all finished. So that in the afternoon, I can train each day, and then just keeping fit and make sure make sure that my conditioning is all up to scratch. So yeah, from my side, it's just getting my studies out of the way early on in the morning, and then spending the rest of the day training and getting fit. And what are you studying now this year? Um, I'm doing a general BA. Wonderful. And that's your first year of going into that? Yes, yes. Okay. Well, thanks, Carl, Verena, and uh, it's really good for Game On to be talking to you after the, the Under-19 World Cup, and we thank you for your time. Thank you very much.